we wanted to improve upon from last year. You know, animation quality, accessibility, you know, how easy it is to sort of pick up and play, but also hard to master. And we have some cool features that I want to showcase. Um, you got like physics and games, uh, and the and the 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 bar, the Very cool. Animation quality. You get in this intro here at Staples Center. Mike Green and Jeff Bang are coming back as our announcers. So, a ton of new audio from them and lots of new improvements to our, to our speech system. Pretty cool. cool. Intro here at the Staples Center. Lots of camera work here to show off how big the videos look. I know our, uh, our Cleveland or Ohio uh, residents are going to be happy to see LeBron on that, on that Cavs roster again. Cool. All right, so uh, looks like Connor won wins the tip off here. Mm -hmm. I know our, uh, our Cleveland or uh, Ohio uh, residents are going to be happy to see LeBron on that. <laughs> Yeah, Santos is kind of <laughs> slacking on D <laughs> yeah. there, so why not? Uh, it's like Connor won wins the tip off. Maybe he was going to let you do something, but he, you're like, eh, just good score. So. All right, as we see, uh, you know, kind of the UI popping up there from pick and roll, can you guys explain how that works so, uh, uh, in NBA Live? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, holding left trigger will call for a screen, and then what you'll see is an icon above the screen this way. Now basically it's right, what state that's you know, screen kind of is. You know, kind of the UI popping up there, the pick and roll, and how that works. Yeah. Okay. So you can control the actions of the screen, and that's how long it will call for a screen. Just there, he looks like he did pick and pop. Yeah, yeah. slip right there. Pick and ish. Pick and pop with Kevin Love's not bad. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. 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 Now here's Jordan can get to the basket too. <laughs> Clippers are going to be nasty. Pick and pop. Yeah. What are you guys predicting for the uh, finals pick and pop next year? Super tough. I, I could see the Clippers in the last this take off season. Clippers, Cleveland. Clippers Cleveland. Yeah, here we go. All right. <laughs> this is it. Unless this is it. Now, this is the regular season atmosphere that we have turned on, yeah. but uh, how things change uh, when you're playing in the playoffs or the finals and stuff. Yeah, from a presentation standpoint, I mean, you'll see you know, crowds up on their feet. You've got you know, the home colors. Everybody's wearing jerseys. Clippers Cleveland. Colors, All right. Their home team. Uh, this is it. Now, this is the regular season atmosphere that we have turned on. Could I go into replay and show that? Yeah. Yeah. Showcase. Um, some of the animation improvements that we've uh, done with Rod this year. Um, you know, shooting was a big thing from jump shots, dunks, and layups. Um, how we want to make that look a lot better. Um, improve our, you know, the quality of the animation. Uh, improve the blending. Here's an example. Yeah. You know, LeBron taking it to the basket, um, some of the and then, you know, finishing on a couple of guys here. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, you know, the skill level here, the default skill level. So depending on, you know, what you're playing, um, it's going to be a little bit harder, a little bit easier to get to the basket. But it was a cool play. Our producer over here is telling us we need to talk a little bit louder, guys. So, all right. All right. I have no problem being loud, but uh, keep in mind, you know, the skill level here. Speaking of which, uh, as you mentioned, the crowd, they get louder, uh, you know, big plays, a lot of people, a lot of things I noticed playing the game, uh, it's just how the crowd gets into it, you know, especially big plays, when you have free throw line. I have no problem. You'll even see um, the crowd anticipate the action, so, you know, if the big three goes up, they'll they kind of get on their feet, Speaking anticipate which, it, see if uh, that goes around, if it does, you'll see them cheer and get off the feet. I think I noticed some the cool changes um, that we haven't really talked about is just with the animation variety within the crowd. Um, we're talking what is it, four times, four times the animation variety that we had last year. So you see in the crowd, there's not a lot of wow. with it. Um, pretty cool. A lot more organic motion than what we've ever had in the past. So changes that we haven't really talked about. Uh, another feature, you know, I mentioned accessibility, so we've done a lot. For that, you know, just with our basic you know, right stick dribbling, we have the basic clips, um, where you can pull off moves, head these crosses in all different directions. But like now, I can hold in any direction and perform signature moves. 
they set up the uh, arguments. But Mitchell allows you to pull off the move, you know, attack the basket, pull off, um, and it's a lot easier to get beam for us as opposed to, you know, as opposed to holding, um, you know, modifiers and things like that. You know, we know a lot of people are going to need a lot this year. We want to make sure that, you know, they can get to the front a lot faster than they've ever been in the past. Yeah, I, I do find myself using those signature dribbles, especially guys with, uh, with guys like Kyrie or John yeah. Wall or yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. It, it makes you want to explore, yeah. you know, with those players a little bit more and see what they can do because mm -hmm. it's just that much easier to push those, those combos on the right? Um, another thing I want to talk about, like all, along, along the same lines of accessibility, is you know what we brought, um, kind of along the same lines of uh, old NCAA basketball pin, which I worked on, which is you know a quick way to get some quick off-ball movement, which is a quick action um, feature. So I can just stand in the half court. Um, it will prompt you as well. Uh, as soon as that prompt comes up, I can get some nice movement away from the ball. As you'll see right here, so Kevin Love pops up. Um, Deion Waiters just got to the got to the right. basket. Um, I always see shot shot <laughs> So we'll play a little bit more and, and talk a little bit less. No, I like that. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of just showing off the features here and showing off the controls. So I, I think people forgive the fact that you're just uh, mm -hmm. three shot clock violations <laughs> in a row, but we'll make it better. So in that instance, you know, you kind of did a. It looked like you did a pick and pop. Yep, and then we pick it up, kick it back out to uh, to Blake, and then you know went strong for the hole with Blake again through some contact. So you can kind of see some of the physics engine working there. I think once we get something cool, Connor can come back in and replay, show you guys in detail. So you can see LeBron cutting away from the ball, um, right here. Waiters cut from the wing down to the corner. Um, I want to showcase sort of the quality animation there. Okay. You know, if you look at Waiters over here, you know, and how he attacks the basket, or how he cuts to the basket and his off-ball movement, um, you know, the fidelity and the quality animation is much higher than it's ever been uh, before. So now they can move with a purpose. You know, I could have thrown up a lob here, or you can spot up three-point line, catch and shoot. Uh, makes it a lot more easy, a lot more accessible. Um, and what's cool about the off-ball movement is it's not just happening with no sort of rhyme or reason. Um, you're now in control as opposed to, you know, what, what we found frustrating is, you know, you want to pass it to a guy on the wing, but he starts cutting to the basket um, and, you know, you kind of out of the play at that point. At that sure. point. Real quick, uh, for those who may have maybe haven't been paying attention uh, or haven't seen the videos yet, uh, can you guys explain um, the new player indicators and how those work? Sure. Yeah, we did um, we did a lot on the indicators to just to help you with some feedback in, in regards to shooting, uh, being able to learn what a good shot is versus a bad shot. So if you look at you know the, the indicator on my player's feet, you'll see a couple bars. So one is the fatigue bar. You know, which has been a staple uh, you know, in basketball games in the series, but the bar below it will, will change and show segments. Depending on where you are on the court, the more segments there are, the, the higher your shot rating is. So you can see here with CP3, I've got four bars from here. As I back out a little bit, it goes to three. Uh, the color of the bars will, will change color based on how open you are. So if, if I'm guarded, it's going to be yellow. If I'm contested, it's red. If I'm wide open, it's going to be green. So it's giving you an indication again of, of really your shot quality. Uh, after the release, you'll see in the top left-hand corner, uh, we have some text to, to tell you what your release timing was. So that'll help you get used to the timing. Each player, you know, has a little bit, you know, slightly different time based on the rating. So, you know, we're giving you that feedback consistently to help you with that, you know, uh, being able to get a shot. Uh, so. we see some highlights here. Uh, a lot of guys in the stream asking to see some different camera angles. Do you guys mind? changing camera angles maybe each quarter or something or just at least checking out the different cameras we could do that um, also we're going to do a giveaway guys we have nba live whoop sorry that's yours connor now thank you uh we have nba live 15 for you whatever console you want we're going to start giving those away here in the stream i'm going to ask you the first question for that uh, and we're going to give away a couple um first question for the stream what year was the first live release what year was the first NBA Live game released? 
uh, first or second or third correct answer are going to win uh, a game. Or the first two. Uh, back here in the game, do you guys want to switch cameras here, sure. here in a yeah. second? What do you want to see? The baseline? Baseline high, maybe? Yeah, I think a lot of, a lot of people yeah. use that camera. Based on high? Yep. Let's go for it. I know uh, one camera that I've been using a lot too is like the, a couple of the ESPN broadcast cameras. Right. Yeah, and they change and those are authentic uh, depending yeah. on what venue you're playing in. I never play this camera. <laughs> Our default camera is um, a lot closer to the action uh, than it ever has been. Look at that flip back. You can see the flip back. Yeah, another thing that's uh, people notice is you can hit the right stick into the R3 button and trigger a replay at your own will if you want to as well. Yeah, this is nice. Classic Blake. Um, I mentioned before about like the holding in a direction for a single signature dribble move. You can also perform them on the run this year. So um just to use the space there. So you can attack the basket, hold in a direction, form a, uh, a signature dribble move as well. Nice. So yeah, um, we had gave you last year some controls on the stand and now we've kind of expanded it to the run as well, which is also important. Uh, given so that we've done so much, um, not only from a control standpoint, but um, We've done a lot for our transition game, we do that as well. So, got a good game going here, though. So, we put the defense too, right, Connor? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a lot easier to drive the basketball than it ever has been. Um, just with your left stick, so you don't need the modifiers as well. Um, we've added in. Um, uh, putting in a, a bunch of animations, uh, what we're calling adjustment steps, which are, you know, tiny little adjustments that um, help keep the player in position. You know, previously, you tried to make, like, a subtle move with your left stick to stay in front of, in front of you, uh, stay in front of your man, and then all of a sudden you pull way out of position with those animations, and it just sucks. And, um, We've done a lot with you know, the subtle adjustments. Yeah, you can even see a Chris Paul here. Just, I can take little steps here just to anticipate where, where Kyrie's going to penetrate before I'd be completely out of position. Right. And, uh, and he gets wrong right. there. They shoot it off to LeBron in the trade. Oh, James fires oh, Why are you going on with JJ? Yeah. Stay back up. JJ can dunk. <laughs> Orlando. Former Orlando Magic. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think the Magic are going to do this year? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's some exciting young guys, though. Yeah, yeah, you got forward to Rick Gordon. Gordon. Yeah. So here's Connor trying to break him down. Got another question. Show off a little bit of the on-ball uh, on movement. Try to play uh, tight defense on each other. Okay. For a little bit. Uh, people wonder. Yeah, people. People are wondering if you guys. I mean, you guys are kind of so, slacking off. Try to get. Try to get by me. So, what are your? What are some of your tips, Connor, for playing good defense? Um, it's actually <laughs> pretty. You know, like the goal is to make it pretty straightforward. I mean, you got to stay. Um, you got a gap if he's if he's good uh, at attacking the basket, and you know it's really just you know timing. It's all timing based. So move your left stick, um, and obviously player ratings are a factor. But if you move your left stick, um, you're going to be able to get in front of somebody. Um, if it's a guy like LeBron who's a lot stronger, he's going to be able to body up a lot of times um, and get more separation than other guys. Another way you can do it in this game is, is like a step back jumper. You guys want to try to pull off one of those? 
Sure, that's um, that's going to be using your your Y button on Xbox One or PS4. This is the um, So direction you're going to be pulling back while tapping W or uh, Y to do a step back. So right there. Nice. And then beyond that, we have um, our gather control from last year. Uh, so you can attack the last hit, hop set, pull hop with the Y or triangle button, um, and then you can double tap. Uh, for the Euro, you can also use uh, the Y button and the left stick to perform like a spin gather. Uh, so those speeds of that speed control is, is still around. And then, just from an animation standpoint, they look a lot better than last year. And then going back to sort of the shooting stuff that we talked about, uh, we've literally captured, you know, I mean, around six, seven hundred, um, somewhere in between six and seven hundred uh, different uh, dunks and layups um, as well. And then if you do jump oh, wow. shots. So, on top of that, you're looking at, you know, over a thousand animations for shooting alone, which wow. is pretty cool. That's impressive. <laughs> All right. Uh, first winner for the contest is Prime76. Congratulations. What's up, Prime? You are the first winner of Prime? a free copy of NBA Live 15. We're going to be doing plenty more. Actually, let me go ahead and get to the next question. Who was the first cover athlete? For NBA Live, who was the first like cover guy athlete? Guy by himself, or yeah, we're gonna go with guy by himself. Okay, guy by himself. Yeah. It's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know all this. You were rattling up all off Santos earlier, and uh, I know our true true uh, fans are probably gonna be the same way, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how they do. Um, and by the way, you can send us a tweet or Facebook message if you got any questions for us during the stream. Uh, if you're not following us on Twitter, I don't know what you're doing, but uh, it's <laughs> at EA Sports NBA. Um, hit us up there. We're going to have more videos dropping after the stream from our community guys. They came down to capture some, some stuff, and we're going to um, showcase some of those. We've also got some tips and tricks coming out, so you guys will be set uh, to play the game on the 28th. Um, so it talks through this this halftime show here. Yeah, we yeah for sure. I mean, we had um, some updates to our halftime presentation here. So as you can see, you know, we have a, a series of stories that we run through, recapping, you know, uh, highlights from from the first half, who was cold, who was hot, top plays, things like that. Uh, this also provides feedback for how you're playing the game. So, you know, if your guy's slumping, we'll call that out here. Uh, Jalen Rose is back again to to be the voice of you know our, our halftime presentation. As well as post game, and as well as you know, uh, some of the setup and pre game. But um, you know, we've got the full ESPN crew back uh, to really help drive this. Uh, the presentation is yeah, nice. I like that it has kind of a sports center layout too, so yeah. you can kind of and you can actually cycle up and down if yeah, you want to watch those scroll, again. Yeah, you can scroll scroll with your left stick, so you can go to you know your favorite section, and check that out again, uh, and, and watch. My favorite section is always about me and my team. I just want to know. I want to see all my highlights. Yeah. I'll just skip over the other guys, whatever. <laughs> get back into it? Let's do it. All right. Now we're going to play for, for real. This is for real? Yeah, for real. We're not gonna what were you doing okay. before? I was trying to highlight some stuff. <laughs> Getting shot All right, right, well, let's, let's switch <laughs> cameras camera. again. Uh, what's another one we can show off? I think everybody kind of wants to see. Maybe go ESPN if you want. Sure. I like, there's like an ESPN high camera that I actually like, but I don't know. You guys get to choose. Bear with me. There we go. ESPN. So, yeah, like Connor mentioned, oh, nice. um, this one will be unique per, per venue, so... The cameras are placed in the physical space that ESPN uses uh, when they go to that arena. So you get a little bit of a different feeling each time. How do you get that information? They, they just kind of send you like a map. These are where we put our cameras. Yeah, our guys, we work really closely with, with the ESPN broadcast teams, our creative directors, producers. Um, and then, you know, by getting a lot of that information, we're able to recreate, uh, you know, what they do in real life. I'm asking them questions. It's Connor's playing for real, so. yeah, that was, that was but he's also down by seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. oh, rip! You can still do adjustments uh, in the air as well if you want to. 
trying to... I'm sorry, I'm distracting you guys. Uh, yeah, so you hit shot, um, and then you can just shot midair, tap the shot button again. That's what you're talking about again? Yep. Yeah. Aw. I'm just trying to give you some, you know, yeah, some, some tips there. <laughs> Jordan with a nice dunk. We can get to some questions here, too, if, uh, if anybody wants to send us some. My man Coleman over here will uh, let me know. LeBron looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Santos, why don't you talk about a little bit about our lighting and you know, what we've done from a visual perspective? For sure. Yeah, I think uh, this is a great moment to show off some of the visuals. As you'll see when we cut back to LeBron here, um, we completely redid our lighting system from last year. So, you know, you'll see a lot more detail. Uh, we scanned about probably 70% of the league now. Uh, scanned a bunch of teams in the preseason, too, and we're updating that live um, throughout the season. Uh, but you can see really the, the, the likeness, uh, just the jump in visuals. We scan jerseys. We scan sneakers. Uh, you see the detail in the kicks. Yeah. Um, Shoes are insane. It's insane. Uh, <laughs> You know, we redid a lot of the, uh, the the hair tech to get better looking, you know, hair geometry. So you'll see the different hairstyles on some of the guys that it just looks you know, a million times better than it did um, last year. Oh, nice put back. Oh, quick uh, action. Yeah. People asking about quick action here. Yeah. So how uh, so how quick action works is. Uh, so anytime I'm just standing around, want some off-ball movement, just tap the LB button. Uh, you're gonna see guys like as you see um, uh, LeBron taking the screen, so you can reverse the ball. Um, and it's really just a way for you to initiate off-ball movement. Um, and and not only that, like smart off-ball movement, depending on where players are on the court. So if that was just stands around, taps the LB. You're going to see a lot of so you play. Play to set screen. Yeah. JJ goes back, cuts to the corner. Um, Santos can reverse the ball to him if he wants to. Or, you know, tap the button again uh, to get more motion away from the ball. As you can see, you know, Chris Paul cutting down the corner. But then, you know, the goal is obviously once the shot clock gets down, get the shot <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still leading by nine. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I can get a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> See that defense and all the yeah. Yeah, you guys want to show them uh, any post-play moves that you guys uh, can pull off? You guys have been doing doing a lot with the point guards and rightly right. so, considering the teams you're playing with. But yeah, I play with the can. I mean, Santos probably one of these. Lakers, Lakers, John in the post. Yep. See if you uh, make these free throws first. Yeah, let's do that. Get a little closer. Alright, so I'll get it down to, to Blake in the block here. <clears throat> and then to initiate post moves, you right click on your on the right stick. So R3 click, so it'll go with the back down. You can move your guy down with the right trigger, you can bump your man. So give him a little bump like that. Get around them. And finish. So there's a, a bunch of different moves out of there. There's drop steps with you know, using wide button, point direction the basket, uh, spin moves you know, on, the, on the left stick, um, fade away, uh, right again, right trigger to bump and create some space. Uh, so you know, pretty pretty deep post system. Um, we got a seven point ball game. Mm -hmm. Climbing back into it. Our second winner of a copy of NBA Live 15, Smooth Sniper 11. You have won a copy. Uh, fourth quarter, they want you to play for real because we've been uh, changing stuff here. Right. You guys want to change cameras again? Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Uh, we're going to give away another copy of Live here. And this is a good one. This is about our cover athlete. What hobby does Damian Lillard enjoy on Fridays? What is his favorite hobby 
on Fridays. That is our cover athlete, Damian Lillard. Give away a co couple copies for that one. Um, still a seven point game. We gotta get a stop here. Just, just playing well. Nice. That was a good finish. Can you see one of those action replays after the next basket? Yeah. Anything else you guys want to see here in the stream? You know, we should show them. See if it's All right. Nice bucket. Alright, seven point ball game going into the fourth. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like your chances if you're not you know, getting shot call violations. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, nice steal. Lake with the finish. Oh, here we go. You just hit that. I suggest. Yep. Just hit the right stick in. You can watch your watch your highlights. Got to remind everybody to make sure to follow us on Twitter at EA Sports NBA. We're going to be giving away copies of the game. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to play. Get yourself prepared for the 28th. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice play, though. And the oop. And yeah, the alley -oop. Almost, almost lost him. Yeah. Give us some alley oop uh, <laughs> tips. Um, really, so alley -oop this year um, has been changed. The controls have been changed. Worked on the system. Um, make sure guys are getting the ball a lot better than they ever have been in the past. Um, and then it's just tap on the B button, um, and you throw it up to a guy. And you just got to make sure a guy's coming to the basket. Um, and you should have a good chance to get the finish. Uh, but we've also worked a lot on uh, our alley defense as well. So guys are a lot more aware. Um, and making sure it's not a nice play, obviously. See right there, he wasn't, he wasn't quite in the right position, so he just got the ball. And when it works, it's pretty awesome. Oh, that was a nice finish. You're in this, Connor. Ooh -hoo. Oh. Oh, the tray! Oh, come oh, on. Man. Steal though, kind of trying to cherry pick. Got to shoot that. Can't hit in. I can't finish anything. I guess my team's <laughs> I don't know if that can be your excuse. Oh no. AJ. Reddick wide open. How many difficulty levels? Uh, Four. Four. Four difficulties. Um, Which do you guys usually like to play on, though? I like to play All Star or Superstar, um, but for the purpose of the school. Uh, yeah. All right. Superstar. A um, little harder to hit. All yeah. The pockets when you're... Yeah, exactly. A little bit more. Um, a little bit more realistic, I guess, shot percentages if you're a skilled game. All right, let's do another trivia question. Who was on the cover of NBA Live 09? Santos, do you know the answer to this question? All right. For a copy of NBA Live 15, who 
who knows the answer to that? Who was on the cover of NBA Live 09? As Connor is running out of time here, 12 point deficit, trying to hit a couple of Trey. Ugh. Don't know. I hear people whispering behind me like they don't know the answer, but I even know the answer to this proposal. <laughs> oh, that's a nice finish. Oh, man. Why not? Why not? And the foul. Ugh. You're going to have to redeem yourself. I know. I don't mean. I don't mind. You want me to stop asking you questions? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's it's actually really hard. I have respect for the uh, the professional streamers out there because it is difficult to play games and talk and answer questions at the same time. Um, my wife tells me you're not good. No, multitasking. So. Oh. What do you guys think? You want to see another game? Right. Let's take a look at uh, this tape. I want to know if the guy had any actual contact showcased any um, ragdoll physics. Um, yeah, you can see that. Where uh, yeah, so it looks John, like Dion yeah. Waiter's arm pushes Blake's arm away. Looks so, really yeah, so what you have here is basically a big old hot mess of <laughs> uh, guys around the basket. Um, look at JJ Reddick's arm contacting Dion Waiters. Um, we're actually, it's actually getting moved out of the way. It's not a canned animation. Um, it's all ragdoll physics enabled, which is pretty cool. And, and what's cool about it is it's a lot more emergent um, and different every time you attack the basket. So you can see over here. Um, JJ's arm is back over uh, <laughs> Probably should have been foul when you look at it. Clobber. And then uh, Clobber. You see even here, like Blake Griffin's arm under uh, JJ. Yeah. So there's a lot more contact, a lot more realistic physicality uh, than ever before. So I want to showcase that and, yeah. and keep That's an eye cool. on What would it have done in the past? I just clip right through. Or, you know, the other thing that you'll see a lot in you know, basketball games is you know, a lot of canned stuff, like so you get sucked into to two man stuff, which happens quite a bit. Yeah, um, I think it just makes that moment feel organic, right? Because you, you really don't know, you know, what the outcome is going to be based on, you know, who comes to help or you know, what physical contact you draw. So, um, you know, you can't, you don't just get the exact same animation over and over. Sure. Yeah, and we've also enabled like ragdoll with foul, so it's not just like scripted and dice roll, but it, a lot of times if you get hit in the face, we're going to call that foul, which is right. Cool. A lot more realistic than before. All right, our next winner is Jason23. He is the next winner. And, uh, heck, we might give away some more games if we're going to play another game. We'll see. We'll have to see what people want to see. Oh, nice shot. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Again, NBA Live 15 will be in stores on October 28th. Uh, all right, we're going to play another game. It's been decided. The, uh, the, the powers that be have decided we're going to play another game. Um, let's ask the uh, the chat stream. Let's ask what they want to see, which teams they want to see uh, in our next game as we check out this post game wrap up. Um, maybe this this might be a topic of uh, our next giveaway question. You never know.